Welcome back to Higher Powered Gaming. I'm Jesse Heyer, your host. We're going to be cracking us another Brothers War set booster box. Got our 1 in 10 Transformer card chance. So let's hope we uh, see some goodness out of this box. It's probably the last one we're going to be cracking for this set. Uh, there's one other one already on the channel if you want to take a look and see what we pulled there. Uh, we're looking for the big money hits here. Muriel, uh, Urza, Mishra, Gix, Awaken the Woods, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, and uh, the Titania, I believe. And, of course, Portal to Phyrexia, if you haven't heard about that. That's been making the rounds. Meet Urza and meet Mishra there. Because, you know, you got to have brothers to have a brother's war. But. All those beautiful packs right there. Flip them back over. Alright, let's begin. Pack number one. Let's see if we got the goods here today. Oh, they got the art cards flipped on us again. That's the Fall of Krog art card. I do like that one. That's a pretty neat one. That was a Foily Forest. Kind of go quick through the uh, commons and uncommons here. We want to get to the rares. We want the good stuff. We want the good stuff. Got us an Acre Will Spring there. Blast zone for our rare and a foily shoot down. Oof. Not a great way to start out the day. Pack number two. We got us a power stone token. Urza Lord Protector art card. That's pretty cool art. I do like that one. Island there. And. through some of these commons and uncommons. So, did anybody else have any cool pre-release stories? I'd really like people to leave them in the comments if you did. Cityscape Leveler, that's seeing some play in Modern and uh, Tron decks right now. Amazing ability, where whenever it, it casts or attacks, you get to destroy a permanent and they get to create Power Stone tokens. I had fun with that one at the pre-release. Won me three rounds out of four all by himself pretty much so definitely was worth playing highly recommend cityscape leveler if you pull it and you're limited of course you got to get up to eight mana but with the power stones if you get the right stuff it's not hard scrapwork rager art card and we got us a mountain Dreams of Steel and Oil, Disciple Gix, Foundry Inspector, great to have for uh, casting all these artifacts in this set, Drafna Founder of Latinam, and a Go for the Throat Foil, and an Aura Thief, that's a rare from Urza's Destiny, I believe, from our list card. Definitely a good list card. If you saw the bundle, you saw we opened an old Gnawbone list card. Happy about that one. My second old Gnawbone now that I own. Island. Full Arts. Love the Full Art cards. Full Art lands from this set. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Depth Charge Colossus. I saw this doing some cool stuff at the pre-release. Skyfisher Spider, that is a amazing pick for limited. Definitely pick that if it comes your way. Right, Vermin Gilded Lotus for our artifact card. Visions of Phyrexia. And there's that Scrapwork Rager. 
Right, we got the art card for it earlier and a soldier token. All right. Keep on moving on. We've seen some good stuff, but we haven't seen the good stuff yet. Chromatic Lantern. Ooh, signed art card. Get that signature in there really well. And a full art swamp. Some of my favorite full art lands they've put out in a while. Junkyard Genius did some cool things for me on day two of the pre-releases. Millstone and a liquid metal coating. There's Ashnod, the Flesh Mechanist. She's kind of interesting. Might build something commandery around her. And there's this rebuff for the foil. Moving on to the next pack. Nothing to be wowed about yet. Hopefully it's coming up soon. Got Kayla's Command as an art card. Pretty sure we opened that one in our bundle earlier. And Full Art Island. Fog of War, that thing. Whew, that got me a few times at the pre-release. Thought I was attacking for lethal, and instead they pulled that out and... Gained more life than damage I dealt, so if you need something to protect your butt, that's the card for you in this set. Chromatic Star there, and hey look, there's Kayla's Command. The art card we got. Pretty decent command card right there. Oh, oops, wrong pile. And a meticulous excavation for the foil. Nothing, nothing too fantastic in that pack. card there. Planes. Sorry if I'm getting off camera here a little bit. There's a Power Stone Prodigy. Did some good things with that on day two of the pre-release also. Oh, we've got the Transformer card for Slicer. Number six. I think that's one of them I didn't have yet. Kind of neat card right there. And a Well of Lost Dreams with the blueprint art around it. And a Mishra's Command. All right. That's not a bad pack. I had some fun with Mishra's Command at the pre-release. The uh, ability to choose many of the different modes did work out quite well. And a Sahili Filgree Master for the emblem. Which I have yet to pull one of those. Out of everything I've opened so far, I've had, I got three Teferis, which, out of Planeswalkers, to pull out of this set, Teferi, I think, is uh, kind of being slept on all the way around. He's an amazing card, and I think people are going to pick it up here eventually. There's a Titania, Voice of Gaia artwork. Gaia? Not sure how you say it. Got a mountain there. I'd love to actually pull that card too, and then I could have the full meld of that finally. There's Mishra. And a Helm of the Host. That's a pretty good hit for the uh, artifact subset. Fauna Shaman. Ooh. And a Hulking Metamorph. Not the best, not the worst. And a Thrawn Quarry. Ooh, from Urza Saga. I actually have one of these originally from Urza Saga. Very good card. Definitely a good list hit there on that pack. I'm sure that's probably got to be worth something for Commander alone. And then we got a Ramos Dragon Engine. Ooh, we got that signed art card. That foil signature in there. It's actually a real signature. 
bonus, not the little foil stamped planeswalker symbol in the corner. Soul Guide Lantern and Elsewhere Flask for our uh, artifacts. And then Steel Seraph. This is another card I think that might be being slept on a little bit. And a Moment of Defiance Foil with a Power Stone token. Last pack out of this side. Hopefully, would like to hit something harder than a Thrawn Quarry. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Got Thorn Amethyst for our art card. Full Art Planes. My piles are trying to run away here with me. Juggernaut, Deadly Repost. Ooh, got another Transformers card here. I think this is uh, Bumblebee, essentially, I think now. I don't know, the Goldbug? I changed his name. I don't know what was wrong with his name before, but Ornithopter, Diabolic Intent. That's a pretty good hit. I think that's like an eight or nine dollar card right now. And a Lauren Disciple of History for our foil. The packs are taking over my table right now. And what was that? Soul Guide Lantern Heart? I do like a lot of the blueprint art. I think it's really cool. I'd like to see more of it in the future. Ooh, Ratchet Field Medic for uh, another Transformer card. Oop. Everything's getting away from me back there. Another Liquid Metal Coating. And a Thrawn Spider. Kind of an interesting card. I still swear that they meant to reprint the uh, Tron lands in this set and decided not to at the last minute. Too many things cost seven mana in this set to make me think they did not mean to reprint the Tron lands. Take flight art card here. Do love that Fall of Prague artwork. Mass production, Howling Mine. Gotta love the hugs. And the Inspiring Sanctuary. Ooh, Urza, Prince of Krog. For our rare in this one. And a Goblin Blast Runner for the foil. With a Power Stone token. Gotta love those Power Stone tokens. I got so many of those in this set. You got a planes art. It's probably my favorite planes art. I like the ghost of the machine standing in the background. And the same art on a full art planes right there. Gotta love it. Two reprints back to back right there with Go Through the Throat and Obstinate Ballath. Burnished Heart for our Artifact card. And a Hall of Tagson. Not really the card we were hoping for there. And an Acidic Soil from Urza's Saga. I'm pulling a lot of Urza's cards here. Maybe we'll get lucky and snag us a Smokestack tonight. I believe that was on the list. Reprints for these. Keening Stone there. Swamp. Optimus Prime. For our Transformer card. We're up to four Transformer cards. We did not open 40 packs. I went pretty good on those out of this. Misery Shadow. This is an amazing little pump card. 
definitely think this is one that's being slept on a little bit. I think it's going to find a home here real soon. Wing Commando for the foil. Alright. Got Steel Seraph as an art card. Full Art Forest. Supply Drop. Great card for limited. Definitely recommend picking that if it comes past you. The flash with the bump on a creature. And then the ability to sacrifice it and draw a card later. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be great for for standard or anything, but limited, it's a damn good card. There's the Keening Stone. Get the middle of the cards. And a Sahili, Phil Green Master. Yay, I finally pulled one! That's actually a decent hit too. I think it's like a seven or eight dollar card out of the set currently as of today's pricing. Maybe lower, I'm not sure. I kind of briefly glanced over the prices. I know the big hits are the Mythic flips or meld cards. Oh, I guess the Healy's only a three dollar card or two fifty card, so not the hit I was hoping for there, but. I finally pulled one. That was what I was really going for. Skyfisher Spider, once again, one of the best limited pulls you can get. Jollum Tomb. Liberator, Urza's Battle Thopter. That's another card that I think is going to find a home here real soon. And I think it's going to do some amazing things when it does. Uh, Zypher Sentinel. And a Metatron Elite, another Urza's Destiny card. So that's two from Saga, two from Destiny. I know there were a lot of uh, Urza's list cards this time around. Jolly Tomb, is that what that is? Oh, Maze Mind Tomb. Art card. It's a mountain. Junkyard Genius, that card, like I said, did really, really well day two. I wish I would have stayed through, but we were starving, so we ended up leaving and going and grabbing steaks. But I was 2-0, and oh, and my two matches were usually one within five minutes. It The deck was insane. It was quick. It was fast. If you can get the right cards, black and red is where it's at. Urza's Command, that's a good command card. I've actually been tempted to build an Urza's uh, Commander deck and just put all the different Urza cards that I could find into it. Doing something white and blue, I'm thinking. Inspiring Sanctuary art card. And I got a swamp there. Ooh, Misher, uh, Tamer of Mokfa in the blueprint. That is definitely a cool art right there. I really, really like that one. Each artifact card has unearthed one black and red. There are so many ways to bust that open. And Ornithopter. And a Gixian Puppeteer. Do like that Mishra card. Probably not worth a ton, but I just like it. That was cool art. I'm a big fan of the blueprints. And that to me was a great hit. I don't even care if it was worth it or not. Oh no. We're going to open this pack, and then i got to run and grab a power cord. I forgot to charge this before we started. Full Art Forest. We're going to zip through this real quick. Hopefully we don't get anything 
major acre wellspring and an elsewhere flask perennial behemoth tiny land cards from your graveyard you can see where that could work out for you in commander a few times and a foil jollum tomb all right Give me one second here, folks. Sorry, folks, had to run and grab a charger. Uh, the camera was about to die on me. It's my own fault. Should have plugged it in long before I started this. All right, on to the next pack. Looks like we got a list card. I didn't see a token staring me back. All right, there's our cool little art card. Foily Forest. Fog of War. That card. That card made me eat crow a few different times. Usually just delayed the inevitable, but when you think you got it in the bag and somebody whips one of those out on you at the last second, it just kind of ruins it. Teething Wormlet. This one actually did me some well good too. Uh, saved my butt in one game. I gained enough life off of playing the artifacts and made him big enough that I was able to make a good comeback. Ended up winning the round. Alright, into the last stack. Still haven't hit any of the big, big money yet. Mass production. Art card. Full art. Mountain. Kind of weird. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if you can see that, but the ripples. I don't know if that's a printing thing or if that's supposed to be part of the art. I need to go look at some of my other ones. I got, I guess. Rebuff. Um, just kind of zip through these here. Semblance anvil for our one. Oh, there we go. Awake in the woods. Our first big head out of this box so far. That's the Dryad Land Token Creatures Maker. And a Takasia's Welcome. And a Contamination once again from Urza's Saga. Continue on. Pretty good list pulls. I can't be mad about that at all. I haven't seen those cards in 25 years. <laughs> I think that's the Goblin Char Belcher. Yep. That's the art card for it. On to the forests. Disfigure. That's another good limited card. Great removal. Don't have to probably tell you that if you're a limited player. Unwinding clock. That's rare. And a bone saw. Ooh, another big money hit. Urza, Lord Protector. That gives me two of those now. And I have a playset of the Mightstone and Weakstone already, so that's a good hit. I enjoy that. And a Fade from History. I, I could live without that card. I think I've already got a playset plus of those. Let's keep clicking away here. That's reclaimed by a Gix. Art card. That's planes. Epic confrontation. This is the one I played that on the precursor golem. Took out the whole guy's whole side. Was was probably one of the funnest plays I've I've had at a pre-release in a long time. Bushwhack. Nothing like getting slapped by a bush. Levitating statue. This is another card that uh. I had some guys using this against me, and it was a pain in the butt. Definitely recommend. Elsewhere Flask and a ha Harbin Vanguard Aviator. Aviator. This is the one where if you attack with five or more soldiers, they get plus one, plus one in flying. That did me some good at the pre-release also. Stone Retrieval Unit, common for our... Oil out of that pack. 
Power Stone Engineer. Got some Mountain. Sibling Rivalry. Monastery Swift Spear. This was a great reprint in this set. That was one of the cards I was playing in my black and red where I was kind of going crazy. Quick games, nice and fast. Put Colorado Baton. Ashnod's Altar. Always a fun card. Skitter Beam Battalion. Kind of Goring War Plow for our foil. All right, we got six packs here left. And we've hit Urza. We hit the uh, Into the Woods. Or Awake in the Woods. Key to the City. Boom. Going with the Plains. Stern Lesson. This was also a card I was using with uh, Teferi. And was doing amazing with it. Uh, the fact that when you play this, you're adding two counters onto him and you're creating a tap power stone token just icing on the cake the ocean tactician great for soldier decks self-assembler has our artifact card another siege veteran I think this is one of the first rares we pulled out of this Tonight, not quite sure. And a world at war. That's from uh, Zendikar. Is that the original Zendikar? World Wake? Probably World Wake. Not quite sure what that symbol is off the top of my head. It's a Zendikar or World Wake somewhere in there. But once again, nice list card. Scrap Trawler Art Card, Full Art Forest, Psychosis Crawler for our Artifacts, and Hajar Loyal Bodyguard. This is another card I think I've already pulled pretty recently here. And a Blanchwood Prowler for our common foil. Four to go. Four to go. It's hoping for one more hit of something. I'd really like to see Titania, Voice of Gaia. Brotherhood's End. Shows the young brothers fighting there. Got us planes. Sorry here, I'm trying to fix my piles. They're getting a little unruly. Search Gave Guard. I just like the name of that card. Hulking Metamorph. A uh, guy used that against me in a couple interesting ways. Making his other prototype creatures much bigger. Or copying it and doing more fun stuff with it. Her cool master wizard and a burnished heart foil with a construct token. All right, three packs to go. Got a full art forest there. Forest. Gonna zip through all of this. Ivory Tower, Gix Command. It's a pretty decent card if I remember correctly. Thopter Mechanic for the foil. And a Power Stone. So yeah, if you had any uh, fun, interesting interactions at the uh, Brothers War pre-release, go ahead and comment it down below. Got an art card for Gix. Still haven't pulled this guy. He's eluding me. Got two packs to go. Maybe it'll happen. Full Art Planes. 
power plant, mine, and tower worker. That's the first time I've seen all three of them together. Falachi Dragon Engine. This, I remember doing something with this. It's pre-release, but it's kind of eluding me at the moment. Soul Guide Lantern for our artifact. And a Hostile Negotiations with a Hornstone Seeker Foil. Oof. All right, last pack. Can this be where it's at? Oh, I'm kind of hoping so, because this box has not been the greatest for me. Another Arc or Maze Mind with uh, the artist signature on it. Foily Forest. And... Come on. Mishra's Bauble, that's always nice to see. Simeon Simulacrum, not 100% what I wanted to see. Warlord's Elite for our foil and a Thrawn Forge from Weatherlight for a list card. Well, that's the end, folks. Not too bad of a box. We got some decent hits in here. Uh, ended up with four Transformers cards. Considering it's a 1 in 10 and there's only 30 packs, we ended up with an extra one there. Pretty decent stack of rares. Of course, that is including the artifacts also. And we did get the end of the wood, or... What was that again? Awaken the Woods. And an Urza. Which, both of those are pretty good dollar hits on here. And I still love the art card there. I know it's not worth anything, but I still like that art. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us for this box. Uh, we'll see you here probably in about a month for when we start doing Dominaria Remastered. If you liked, like, subscribe, follow us, and you'll know the next time we throw another video out. Have a great day.